Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashwini and today we are going to see the next lab program of first PUC computer science. So let me open the Turbo C++. So the program is, click on start Turbo C++. I'll just tell you the question. Write a program to find the area and circumference of a circle. You are going to give the radius. This is the question. So now, how to find area as well as circumference? You have a formula. This formula does not change. It is same as a mathematical formula. So that is area is equal to pi r square. So pi means 3.14 into r square. So r square, you cannot directly write r square here. You need to write r into r. r is nothing but your radius. r into r. This is the formula to find the area of a circle. Next formula to find the circumference of a circle. So circum, I'll just give. Circum is equal to. So formula is 2 pi r. 2 into pi, pi means 3.14 into r. This is the formula to find the area as well as circumference. Remember this. First, always you need to know the formula. Then only you can write a program and you will come to know what are the needs to your program. As I told you, in the last session, I told you the basic thing. The basic thing was the first is your header file. The first two lines always it will be the header file. So let me write the header file for you. Before that, if you have not subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe my channel. Share it with your friends about my channel. And if you have any doubts, leave a comment in the comment section. If you want any of the program output or if you want to explain me any of the program, you can comment it. I will do it in the next video and please do not forget to subscribe my channel. Now the header files are two header files you have that is ash include ash iostream.h dot h this is your first header file this is used for out and see in statements. So whenever you use see out and see in statements in your program, you need to add this particular header file. The next one is ash include conio.h. Next, it is void main. And you can see the void is in white color. Void means it is a keyword. And it is one of the data type. It is a null character. It does not contain any of the written type. So that is what void is. Now opening braces as well as closing braces. So within these opening and closing braces you are going to write all your program. And the main program starts after this void main. So after void main, I told you, you need to declare the variables. So, how to declare a variable? You are going to give a data type, space, variable 1, 2, 3, how many variables you need, so many variables you are going to declare in your declaration section. Let me do that for you. So, here you can see in the formula, you have 3.14. So, anything multiplied by 3.14 you are going to get it in a floating point right 3.14 is a floating number so if you multiply if r is 5 so 5 into 3.14 the answer whatever you get that will be in a point itself you are going to get the answer in point itself that is your floating point number so the data type will be float f l o float and here you can see float is also coming in white color so it means it is a keyword 
so always a keyword will be in white i'll give for even for is a keyword so it is coming in white color so remember that so float the first variable is radius here so i'll give r r comma the next variable is area so whatever you use it in your program that you need to declare here so next is circum circum semicolon this is how you declare a variable so here you can see i declared r that is radius area and circumference so only these variables i need it in my program so i have declared only these variables so here by seeing the formula i came to know that i need r i need area i need circumference this is how you analyze a program this is how you will come to know what to write in the program so the first part is finished next is clrscr why clrscr is used because to clear the previous output in the output screen so that is why clear screen is required so if you need detail explanation about this you can see my tutorial 1 as well as tutorial 2 so this is my third tutorial so next is you need to input a values that is what the next step is so to input the values the first see out statement is see out within the double quotes inside the double quotes you are going to write the statement so what is the statement here you are going to input radius right if you give radius you can calculate area as well as circumference so you are going to give enter radius so this is how then you you will give semicolon click on enter key next give c in why c in is used you need to give an input from the keyboard so to do that c in is used c in r semicolon so here within these two lines so it will display radius enter radius and it will wait for a value to be entered by the user through the keyboard this c in statement once when you give the value for r the next step is you need to calculate it so to calculate it you need a formula so whatever these two lines is there that i am going to enter here area is equal to pi 3.14 3.14 is pi value into r into r why it is r into r because r square in program you cannot write r square you need to write r into r if it is r cube you need to write r into r into r that is how you are going to write in a program at the end of the line you are going to give a semicolon next is you need to calculate the circumference to calculate the circumference the formula is circumference is equal to 2 into pi into r that is 2 into pi values 3.14 into sorry circum circum is equal to 2 into pi that is 3.14 into r this is the formula at the end you need to give the semicolon and here you can see in each and every line you have given semicolon if you don't give a semicolon it gives an error that statement missing semicolon so next in these two lines you gave the input r in these two lines you have calculated area as well as circumference now you need to see the output so to see the output you need to write the output statements that is see out statement see out the value of maybe directly you can write area is equal to area is equal to area and a semicolon 
so here you can see this is whatever the area is there this is your see out statement it is a statement this area this area is variable whatever the value contained after calculating 3.14 into r into r whatever the calculated value is there that is stored in area that will be displayed in this particular c out statement so next is i'll give endl because the statement after printing this particular line the next c out statement should be printed in the next line for me so i have given endl endl is used to print two output statements in different lines if you don't give this endl the output will be printed one after the other so next is i need to display circumference so c out circumference is equal to circumference is equal to i'll give circum whatever it's there inside the circum that has to be printed here so i'll give this particular variable whatever after calculating to 2.1 sorry 2 into 3.14 into r whatever the value calculated here that is stored in circum so that has to be displayed here so i'll give circum circum and then semicolon next i'll give get ch why get ch is used because after seeing the output it has to be in the black screen itself to see the output so that's why get ch is used till you give a character from the keyboard it stays in the output screen that is why get ch is used now i have typed the program i hope you understood this particular program now we need to save it after typing it you need to save it how to save it i'll just tell you so click here erase the name don't erase the whole thing only erase the no name 00.cppu delete it then i'll give uh, area of a circle right so a circle i'll i'll type so a circle something i gave dot cpp so cpp means it is a c++ file so now i'll hit on okay so here you can see the name is changed here the next step is you need to compile it so go to compile click on compile so here it will check the errors if there is any error it will display here so here you can see zero warning as well as zero errors so it is asking you to it is successful so it is asking you to click on any key now you need to run when you click on run you'll go to the output screen and you need to give the input so the first c out statement enter radius so i have i'll give 5 and i'll click on enter key so after entering so this 5 you gave whatever 5 you gave from the keyboard because you have written c in radius so c in r you have written in the program so c in is a statement where it takes and input from the user through the keyboard so i have given 5 then you have written area is equal to 2 into pi into r pi is 3.14 so uh, pi into r into r that is area area is equal to pi 3.14 into radius that is 5 into r r into r you have so 5 into 5 is 25 25 into 3.14 that is 78.5 then circumference to calculate circumference you have written a formula 2 into pi into r so 2 into 
pi it is 3.14 into 5 whatever the value you get that is 31.4 so this is the answer this is how you write a program to find area of a circle so I gave till now I explained in the black screen so once when you press any of the key it comes to the blue screen that is why get ch is used so this is about today's program I hope you understood this particular program I hope now you feel easy to write a program please if you like this video please hit a like share it with your friends share it with more and more friends so that even they understood what is right and what is wrong in the program and they'll understand each and every step so that's why I'm asking you to help me out in reaching many people so please like my video share it with your friends and please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you